Cajun Red. Uh, it's an excellent line. It takes lots of abuse here from, from these fish. It's a monofilament, of course, and uh, been working very well for us. And we're going to take one of these live, fresh, well, they're not live anymore, but one of these fresh anchovies here that we have, and we're going to thread him on here like this. We're going to go through the eye. Did I do it right? I haven't did this since yesterday. <laughs> I think I better start over, okay? Okay. You know, normally I have somebody else to do this for me. And uh, anyway, we're going to go through there once. We're going to go around it. We're going to go through it again twice, except just behind the eye through the gill plate, like so. The reason that is so this line will help hold his mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go through it once more in the behind the gill. And we're going to take this six aught Eagle Claw laser sharp hook, and we're going to put that in there like so back through the fish, we'll pull it up. If you notice the line here, now it's kind of holding the mouth shut, yep. and it works very good. A little back bit of a... the eye, through the gill, behind the gill, and then back through... Right. Yep, and you pull yep. the fish. Okay. Is that what, a barbless hook there? These are barbless hooks. The rules specify that we got to have barbless hooks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this pole in the water while I'm doing up the rest of them. So uh, hopefully somebody will start screaming at me. Or to me, okay? Need to make sure that it's hanging out nice and straight from your sinker. Stick it out there. We fish them right on the very bottom. Now, watch the end of the rod, please. This is what a bite's going to look like. Not going to be very much. It's a very small, very subtle bite. If it's real quick like that, you know that that's what we call a sculpin or a bullhead down there working. So when you get the bite, I want you to pick up the pole gently. I want you to drop the tip and pick up the slack. Put your big finger here, your thumb on the reel, and wait, and you'll feel a fish. When he pulls down hard, I want you to go from there to there at warp speed. Hold it there. Wind it down and hit him again. Then you want to say, Yahoo, buckaroo, I have one on. You got that? The Yahoo is really important, okay? okay? Yahoo. Yahoo. Now, since you're so good, Buckaroo, I'll let you even, so you might as well learn how to do this. Uh, hey, what are you running the other way for? I'm going to get one going when you go. Sure. Everybody gets to get learn how to do this. One of the interesting parts about fishing is learning how to do it because one day uh, you're going to be here on your own and you won't have some old guy like me showing you how to do this. Okay, so all the way out here. All the way out, please. Ouch, okay. sharp. <laughs> Through the eye. Back behind the eye. Back behind the gill. And through and out, back by the tail. Right in the middle of the eye? Well, <laughs> in the eye. Yeah, go right, th right through it. Right through the eye. What? Pick up this bait. Where do they do they fish for this bait? Is it grown here? Oh, it's in the river here. Right now, the Columbia River is clear full of this bait. In fact, there's too much bait. Um, so we seen a boat come out here a little while ago. Drop a basket. Are they doing bait or what are they? Doing? Oh, they're fishing crabs. Oh. Okay. So the crab traps that they were using. Is this 
And then down behind the gill. Oh, this is more fun than watching guy with a rubber crutch. <laughs> okay, now here I'll show you the. I put one through the gill, but I. No, 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 no. Okay, let me show you. You see where you went there? Yeah. That one should have been up there. Oh, I. So went, we'll take this off yeah, from I there. Yeah, need to go on top of the gill, not right behind it. Huh? Okay. Wait, we. Okay, watch me now. Okay. This is this is important, kids. Through the eye, right? Okay. That one I did right. Okay. <laughs> You got that one right. Okay. The next one, we go right behind the gill. And I got that one wrong. Not behind the gill, but we're in the middle of the gill there. Oh. The next one will be behind the gill. Oh, okay. 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 And the third one will be where? About six inches. Back by the tail, right? Back by the tail, yeah. Not six inches. That's not even six inches of fish. <laughs> All right. Now see how that holds his mouth closed? Okay. That one up front. Okay. That's what we need. No, that won't work. Down to the bottom. Okay, I want to see what one of you experts have done. Yeah. Okay, Mel. Like this, and then this last one goes through, right through the tail. Got, got to go through the meat and back out. Right here. No. Nope. Well, this one here should have went right through the, well, it, well, you already got one there. This one here was okay. You didn't need that one there. But this would go through here like this and back out. Oh, okay. That way, when the, when the fish bites, you got to understand that he's going to get the hook. It's important that they get the hook, right? Right. You people that fish with rubber hooks, you know, you don't catch many fish. <laughs> <laughs>